Okay, this burner hasn't been working for a while on this hot point range. And what I did is I swapped out another one from the same size from the opposite corner. And it didn't make a difference. And so in examining the, uh, the receptacle in here, it needs replacement. So right now I have it unplugged. And I'm going to take out the pan. Okay, so now it's lifting it up. You can see the element under there. It's held on, first of all, by a quarter inch nut driver. Taking a closer look inside here, we can see that the uh, contacts in there are pretty beat up, pretty burned. So we're going to pull it out and uh, replace it. Okay, showing the back, back view now. Just going to take off these quarter inch, quarter inch screws holding this cover on. And there looks like there's about six of them. And we can get at the wiring under there. Okay, these yellow wires right here are the ones that are coming up from our bad burner. And these are just uh, plug in here, plug into the burner control. And now it comes. Just got to find a replacement now. What we're using here is a universal replacement part, in which case, you, in which you have to use the wires from your original one. You snip them wire nut them, put some heat shrink tubing on there, and then uh, replace it. So we'll just bring this up. Bring the wires up through. Plug them into the Okay, now just a matter of reattaching it to the stove top. Tucks back underneath there. I'll reattach the back cover with my six with my five sheet metal screws. Get a burner it also gone bad. Okay, it's a little sideline item here. I want to show you a remedy for a little phenomenon I call a burner sag. <clears throat> if you look at this burner, it's tilted this way. Because what happens over the years as you're putting a lot of heavy kettles on here is that this support right here cuts into the groove in the drip pan. And what you wind up getting is a actual uh, deeper groove in here so that eventually the burner is sitting down lower. 
and um, at that point you'd have to replace this um, unless you uh, are handy with a simple little remedy here. What I did is I drilled a small hole in this pan and I'm going to put a washer in there and a sheet metal screw. And the idea being this kind of builds the builds it back up to its original level here so that when you reinstall the burner it now rests on this washer and sits in a uh, level position so that when you have fluids in here like grease or oil uh, it won't go to one end of the pan. So that's just a little sideline item here. Okay so we've got this burner operating correctly again nice and cherry red and uh, thanks for watching the video.